along with the answer you have. Meeting is being recorded. Can you repeat that? Exercises, which one? Okay. Okay. For the first one, A, I put primary because she conducted the data herself. Which question and which exercise it is? If you can repeat. Exercise 1A. Yeah, one A. One A. Mm -hmm. Examination practice, right? Yes. One A is which data? Primary because she conducts the data herself. Okay. B part. It's continuous due to her always inspecting practice. How? One minute. Is this data discrete or continuous? How it can be continuous? Continuous doesn't mean it had to be one, two, three. So can we make a group? It's, is it like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, from which we can make a group of 10 to 15? No, right? It's simply 0, 1, 2, and 3. The values are different. So that, that is discrete. OK? Mm -hmm. And the third part, complete the table. For 0, it is how many? Okay. Um, okay. For zero, it's twelve. Yes. For one, it's ten. For two, yes. it's eleven. For three, it's six. And for four, it's one. Yes. Correct. And for D part. Uh, I put it in a bar graph because it's easy to read and split up data. Correct. Next question is? Question 2A, I put Heathrow. And for question 2A. Question 2A is what? Heathrow. Correct. The next one? For B, it, for B it's 15,397. Yes. C part? V tweak would be 24,000. Mm -hmm. V throw would be 4,000. Correct. London City would be, London, my bad, I read a turn. London City would be 6,000 and Luton would be 11,000. Yes. And Stanton would be 15,000. Perfect. And what did you make for this one? Use the rounded I mean, figures to draw a pictogram. Mm -hmm. So it's already given. Yeah, wait, I'll just check it on WhatsApp, the one which you have showed. So firstly, it's two, uh, like one and a half, two and a half, and then the four, then one, then 1.25, and perfect, correct. And one circle is equal to how many flights? I put 10,000. Yes, correct. We couldn't just buy, right? right. Yeah. And then question number three. Three A, I put frequency table. Three B, I put four nine eight people. Mm -hmm. For three C, I put district C due to mm -hmm. it having the highest number of mobile and laptop ownership rate. Correct. And for D, we have to draw the graph, right? Yeah. Okay, coming to frequency table. Yes, it's a frequency two-way table because we have two columns in it from where we are getting the data, right? It's a frequency table, no doubt, but it's with a uh, two-way, okay? I'll just add that. Wait, I'll just check what? I'll just add that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm just checking your bar graph for the same. So, okay, you can even connect them. Yeah, that's correct, correct. For uh, D, okay, you have taken 20. 
it should start equally like in the bar graph you started with 20 what it should be either you take 20 40 60 80 like multiples of one number it can't be like it, it is a multiple of five no doubt but we are not taking an equal gap Getting my point from here, zero to 20, then there is again 20, 20 gap. But if I take the bar graph that which you have showed, it's zero and then it starts from 20 and then there is five, five gap, right? So we have to take the gap equal from the zero only, from the origin only, okay? I didn't add a zero. I put the lowest one as 20. Yeah, but it by default starts from zero only. You have to start taking 20 from here. Zero is this point where they both meet. This is the point where both of them are zero. So you can't do anything. It's there only. It's by default. Okay. Mm -hmm. So whenever you are drawing, table was fine. It's just that if you want to make a five table, like table of five with a gap of five, so it will be zero, then five, then you can just make it till 20 and so on. So it's better you can go with even table of 10 also. That is also fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moving to fourth one, it's a pie chart. One moment, I'll just check it. Okay, that's correct. Fifth one, can you tell me the values quickly? A part? Discrete data. Are they asking discrete? They're asking, what data does this graph show? That means what this graph is talking about. No, I thought like, like okay. it's talking about sports that students play. Okay, second one. Five categories. Yes, third one. Baseball. Fourth one. 23%. 20? Three. 23. Yes, yeah, somewhat around. Yes. E part? 15% of students. So how many students are there? 200. So 15% of 200 will give us 30 around. Correct. And Eight the last one? Students. They're asking how many students, not the percentage. So we have to convert that percentage mm -hmm. into students by multiplying the 15% with 200. Right. Okay. Similarly, do it for F also and tell me the answer. And 78 students would be for F. Can you please repeat that? 78%. I no, sorry. Number, students. number. Yeah, 78 um, students. Yes, correct. Have you done past paper also or till here only? No, just till here. Okay. Um, okay, which topic you want to start next? Let's come to the contents part. You can just have a check in your syllabus and then tell me which one you want to start with next. From shapes and space, can we do menstruation? Yes, um, I'll just open it. So it's more of that, you know, formulas only that we have already done, volume and everything. Menstruation oh, is that only, right? Yeah. Oh. Trigonometry? What? Trigonometry? Yes. So Have you do done? It? We haven't done it in the previous grade, right? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Uh, one moment. I'll just tell you which chapter is it from this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, chapter 15. 
we have scale drawings and then bearings. So we will start from 15.3 directly, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so firstly, we can use calculator to find the values of any trigonometric function. But what are these trigonometric functions? Let's understand. So let's say, Sama, uh, we have... A, so trigonometry is all about right angle triangle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we have a 90 degree angle, this is something where we can apply our trigonometry. So basically, we know that if ABC is a right angle triangle, angled at uh, B, right angled at B, 90 degree, and we don't know about A and C. So you know that AB is the height of this, BC is the base, and AC is the hypotenuse. Are we aware of it? Mm -hmm. Now, we can have three different ratios here. It can be AB over AC. They can be actually six ratios. I'm writing all of them and then we will discuss. You have to just take two at a time and just divide each other. So AB over AC I have taken. So similarly, we can have AC over AB also. The reverse, the reciprocal of it. Then we can have BC over AC. Then again, we can have a reciprocal of it as AC over BC. Then the third one is we can take these two as well. AB over BC. Then we can have it as B, uh, BC over AB as a reciprocal. Firstly, let's have a clarity of how I've taken it. There were three sides. I have chosen any two sides at a time and then just divided it. Is this thing clear? Mm -hmm. Why are we doing it? Let's understand. So in the right angle triangle summer, all the angles have some relation with the sides ratio. That's why we are taking the ratio here. And we have given particular name to this ratio. So let's say this is my angle, which I'm taking. Uh, let's name it as theta. Okay. Have you heard of this word theta before? No. This is like a random angle name we are taking. The way we used to take X and Y in algebra, we can take an angle as theta. And this is the symbol for it. It looks like Q, but it, it's, it's still here only. Okay. Now, the first one where we have, this is perpendicular, this is base, and this is hypotenuse according to this theta. How do we see, how do we come to know which is perpendicular and which is theta, Let's uh, which is base? So in front of, this is very important point and it changes your whole answer. In front of theta will always be the perpendicular. That means whatever angle you are taking, let's say if you are taking theta angle, in front of that will be your perpendicular. Right, and the, the second one will be base, and we know that the highest one is the hypotenuse, the largest side, okay? Mm -hmm. AB is our perpendicular according to theta, and AC is hypotenuse always. This is known as sine theta, where sine has full form of sine, S-I-N-E. We have given some names to these, that's all, these ratios. BC over AC is base upon hypotenuse, which is cos theta. So you have to remember these things, okay? Mm -hmm. And the third one is tan theta, which is tangent theta in, if we do the full form, that's P over B. So we should know only these three for now. For the reciprocals, we will be discussing it later on. So firstly, note this down, and then I'll give you one question based on it. Like, what is it actually? Just one small thing. 
when we say in front of theta is perpendicular we just say it as this is opposite mm -hmm. and this is adjacent because it is adjacent to theta to that angle mm -hmm. so you can write sin theta as opposite over hypotenuse cos theta as adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite over adjacent these are the names which are given by us only it's not something which was already there for each ratio we have given the name with respect to the angle mm -hmm. what i'm just gonna add the last one Okay, now coming to, uh, let's quickly come to 15.4. It's page number 341 of your book. In this one, we don't have to apply any sign or cos. We have to just see what is adjacent, what is hypo, uh, like hypotenuse, and what is opposite. So let's come to question number one, B part. If we are taking angle A, can you see angle A in B part? Mm -hmm. So in front of that will be what? Uh, the opposite one will be X, Y, or Z. Wait, what? In front of this angle A, what is the, mm -hmm. so we have to figure out which one is opposite, which one is adjacent and which one is hypotenuse with respect okay. to angle A. Uh, in front of it would be the opposite and the one it's connected to would be the adjacent. adjacent. You can name it whether it is X, Y or Z. So A would be the opposite and B would be the adjacent. Are you doing first part? Are you doing A part yeah, somehow? B part? I gave you B, no? Oh, B? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So Z would be the opposite and X would be the adjacent. Or and Y will be the hypotenuse, right? Okay, for E part. C would be the opposite. Which one would be opposite? Mm -hmm. D. D. Yes. And adjacent. Would be E. And the hypotenuse would be C. Yes, F part. F would be opposite, G would be adjacent, and E would be the hypotenuse. What will be the hypotenuse? E. Yes, correct. Okay. Now question to B part. Opposite 40 degree is what side? The one that's X centimeters tall. And the ages in 50 is what side? Y centimeters tall. What? The one Y centimeters. How? Ages in 50. Ages in, not opposite 50. No. So that would be again X. Mm. Opposite. Mm. 50 is Y, but ages in 50 is still, it's again X only, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, C part. 65 degrees given. 
equal to Q is given, you have to tell, is it is Q opposite of 65 degree or adjacent to? Opposite. It's opposite. Oh. And then that. And 25 and degrees? Adjust. Adjust. Yes. And equal to R. So R is equal to which angle? R is, oh, okay, yeah. Tell me. R is what? Sure. R is what? We know that. Hypotenuse, right? It's the greatest or side. That angles? No, not required. For hypotenuse, it doesn't matter. For other two sides, it matters, okay? Hypotenuse is same, but other two sides can change according to what in front of which angle they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. One moment. Okay, uh, do you have calculator right now? Yes. Please open it. Can you see sine, cos, or tan over there on the calculator? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's say if you have to find the value of tan 40 degrees, for example. So you will firstly write tan, click on tan, then 40 degrees, and see what is the value it's there on the screen. 0 0.7265. 0 0.7265. Now, is it tan? Have you clicked on, uh, tapped on tan only? Mm -hmm. You did it for tan only or sine or cos? Tan. Not tan H, just tan. Give it another try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still 0 0.7265. Like it's continuous, but I stopped at the five. Yeah, that is fine, but it should be around 0 0.83. Wait, I'll just solve it on my calculator. 40 and 10. I'm getting 0 0.839, exactly the answer. Can you show it to me on the screen? Like this or? Yeah. Like yeah. Okay, can you ch uh, check if you have, uh, if your angle is in, can you see any R written at the top of this tan 40? No. One moment. Can you do one thing for now? Uh, do you have phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, just open the calculator and rotate it. You will get a scientific calculator. <laughs> Have you got it? <laughs> now just write 40 and then click on tan. Oh, 40 before tan? But this is not working. What? Does it matter if I put the 40 before or after 10? Uh, it's different for different device. For calculator, we need to put 10 first. For phone, firstly, we put 40 and then apply 10 to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's giving me 0 0.83. Yeah, that would be good. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to the next part. So now we'll be finding the values like this, right? Uh, for the uh, for the calculator, after the class, just share the photo of that calculator. I'll tell you how to change the, I think there are some uh, things we have to change in it to get the correct answer. Okay. Yeah, so now we will be doing the angle thing on calculator and these ratios. I hope you have written the ratios now. Yeah. Okay, so before moving to the ratio, come to 15.5, question number one. B and, okay, it's all tan, B and D will be doing. Give it a try.
Okay, B is 1.03 and D is 1. B is? Can you please repeat the values? Uh, Sama, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm asking value of B. Can you please repeat that? Oh, 1.03. Correct. And D1? 1. 1. Perfect. Let's move to question number 2. One moment. I'll just quickly open it. Okay, now question number two, we will be discussing um, C, E, and G. Okay. So in question number two, what do we have to do? Tan A mm -hmm. is equal to, we have to just write tangent as a fraction in the lowest term. So we know tan is opposite over adjacent. We discussed it. Now mm -hmm. in front of angle A, Opposite is 2 and adjacent is 8. So our answer will come out as 1 by 4. Okay. So this is the value of tan A we have got. We have to just use mm -hmm. this ratio thing for tan and then apply it. So instead of CEG, let's do DEG. Because C I have already done here. Okay. For E, tan. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. Um, for D, it would be 1.5. And for E, it would be N over M for tan Z. And then for tan Y, it would be M over N. And for G, it would be P squared. Uh, e is correct, G is correct. Can you please repeat D part? Uh, I got 1.5, but I'll redo it. Yeah, 3 over 2, yes, correct. Okay. Let's do question number 3. C and E from here, and from fourth one, D, H, and I. Try these. Any questions till here? Not yet. Okay. Two sides are missing. 
Can you please repeat? This meeting is being recorded. Sure. Which okay. one? For, for question three, how would mm -hmm. I find the left if both sides are missing? Okay. Using Pythagoras theorem? Yeah, but two sides are missing. I only have one. In which part? Uh, question three. For C and E. E part? C and E, both the questions you gave me. But C, in C we have, uh, we don't need it, no? They are, what they're asking, find the length of the le uh, lettered side in each case, give you an answer to three significant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we have this as Z, this as 13, and this as 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. So can we say tan 70 degree is equal to Z over 13? Opposite over adjacent? Mm -hmm. We learned how to find yes. the value. We can find the value using calculator. We multi, uh, so we will find the value of z from here. Whatever we get for tan 70 degree, we do times 13 and we get z. 13 was okay. here, right? So it will be multiplied over there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Can you just go back to the previous slide? Thank you. This one?
Okay. Um, then. Okay, let's start with question two was done. Third C. It would be 35.7. Yes, and E. 18. Yes. Question number four, D. 14.6. What? 14.6. 14.4. That's E. 40.6 you're getting? 14. 1.4. Yes. Point. Can we, uh, okay, let's discuss that. Question for D part. Okay. Okay, so first I do. What is tan? So tan 54 is going to be 10.8 over P, right? So P will be 10.8 over tan 54. What is the value of tan 54? Have you got it? I'm going to do it. Uh, 3.9. 1.376. That's all we do it. Yeah. Please check it. 1.37. Then 10.8 divided by this value will give you something around 7.8. That's your answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just a mm. Next one is question number four, H and I. H one is? Okay, H, tan 22 would be zero. To be zero point H1, no, and I. Find the value again quickly. Getting ninety-five. You got what? Is it ninety-five? Uh, can you repeat the answer? What's the answer for H part? I got ninety-five kilometers. Yes, and I part thirty-nine point seven. Yes. Let's do one more question from here and then we'll continue it in the next session. Uh, question number seven. Last question. Quickly.
I didn't really understand the question. Let's discuss it. So question says, the right angle triangle has angle BAC 30, taking the length of BC to be one unit. Okay. So BC is one, this angle is 30. This is ABC, sorry, this is A and this is B and this is C. Now question says, work out the length of AC. So you, same thing, tan 30 degree is equal to one over AC. This is oh, opposite. One yeah. unit is one yeah. Oh, okay. Right. AC will be 30. AC will be 30. But it's tan 30. Firstly, find the value of tan 30 using calculator, no? It's 0.577. Zero point five seven seven. Okay, now divided by one. I have taken AC over there and tan thirty value over here. Zero point five seven seven. Okay. Then second part says use Pythagoras theorem to obtain the length of AB. So now we have this as one, this as 1.73, and we have to just find the hypotenuse using the Pythagoras theorem. Doable? Perpendicular yeah. square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. This is your perpendicular, this is your base, and we have to just find this. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. Sima just because this is something very new, so I want you to put extra efforts here and just try to complete 15.4 and 15.5 question numbers till question number seven. Okay. I know your schools are starting from this week and everything, but if we'll get time, just try to manage this part. Okay. Okay. And as for my calculator giving the wrong value. Yeah, I'll uh, check that. You have to share the photo of that calculator and I'll I'll tell you how to change the things and then solve or then use it okay yeah done then i'll see you in the next session that's on friday right yeah bye bye yes Bye.